Well, am I lost again? Well, where am I today? Hmm, I don't know. So let's go and explore and see where it is. I think I see something over there. And across the road is Gimo Road Food Centre. A very popular food centre for breakfast and lunch. The people around this area here flock to this place. So, certain stalls, they will be a queue. So, be aware of that. But, there's no better place to come for Singapore food, hawker food, street food, than this food centre. And at this food centre, you can get a wide variety of different types of hawker food that's available in Singapore. And when you're in here, you'll notice this is a old-style hawker centre with high roofs and ceiling fans. And one of the stores here that is popular with the locals is this place called Heavens. And here you can get a lot of different types of Indian foods like Tose, Putumayam, Appam, and also a few other of their own creation items. But what I ordered from them is their Masala Tose. So here's the dish. As you can see, a nice, crispy, thin piece of tose. And the difference, uh, what is the difference between a masala tose and normal tose is that in a masala tose, there is a spiced potato filling inside. Yes, inside this tose, there is a spiced potato filling, and you eat it together with the curry. Three types of curry. One of them is a potato chutney, and then there should be a vegetarian curry, and another type of curry. So just let me show you the potato, spiced potato food filling. It's not very much, but for the price you pay, this is a very good uh, priced uh, masala to say. Look at that. Spiced curry potato filling. Eat it together with a nice, crispy, outer tose. And on the left, the curry, it tastes a bit like sambal. So I actually like that curry that goes very well together with the tose. Are you ready to rumble? And also, this place here makes a very great breakfast spot to come. And the first bite, I'm having the crispy tose, which is thin, almost crepe-like. And then, now I'm going to have some of it, some of the filling, the spicy masala potato filling. I'm going to try it with the curry. First of all, the vegetable curry. Mm. The curry, of course, will go well with the tofu. It's designed that way. You can try each of the curries individually. Then later, you can actually mix and match the curries. That's the fun of eating tose. Yes, this is the one I quite like. The curry that tastes a bit like sambal, a sweet sambal. Overall, one of the selling points of this place is the price. So you get, uh, of course the portion size is not as big as other places, but the price here cannot be beat. Look at this whole huge piece where I mix and match the different curries. Oh yeah. Mmm. Nice burst of masala flavor. Spicy. And then moistness coming from the curries. I really do like it. That way. Another mouthful. 
Oh yeah. Definitely, definitely hits the spot. One thing good about here is that everything is made fresh as you order it. And using equipment that they actually uh, bought from India and imported in here so they can cook it authentically. And I'm, they sure do a very good job and also sell it at a very cheap price. And a tasty price too. And we are back again at this store, which is the Thailand hometown curry store. And last time we had the uh, pork rib curry, which was really good. And then this caught my eye. The fight upon order. So I decided to come here and try the yeah, curry chicken cutlet which cost me five dollars and once I order it he asked me to come back later to collect it. So around five minutes later I came back and here it is. So what you have here is you have the chicken cutlet deep fried until crispy thin pieces and then you have the curry together with white rice and some potato. All this cost me five dollars. So as you can see, there is like fried chicken, thin pieces of fried chicken, battered, and then deep fried together with the curry and some potato chunks. So this is basically the dish. So how does this compare to the pork ribs curry I tried previously? First of all, the chicken cutlet is crispy, fried nicely, but the pieces, a lot of them are super thin. Then you have the curry, which is the main star of the show. In the previous uh, pork ribs curry I had, I had enough curry to pour onto all my rice. Here, the curry doesn't seem enough. It seems like there's only enough curry for half my rice. Which is a bit of shame because what's the selling point of this shop is the curry. If you give not enough curry, then you, you know that's you defeat the point of your dish. And then the potato was just so-so. Then the even though the chicken cutlet is fried crispily, the rice just go with the curry. Not enough curry, but still, it just go well with the curry. The texture of the rice, nice firm rice. But the chicken cutlet somehow is just average. It's well fried crispy, just that it's a different dish from the curry. No, it doesn't go well it's just like two different dishes nothing really special about it so even though i really really enjoyed their pork ribs curry and i'm sure i would also enjoy their chicken curry somehow these deep fried items they add in doesn't really add much to the appeal of the dish so if i do come here again in the future what i would I'll advise you or even myself if I come here again and eat I will probably just get their either pork ribs curry or their chicken curry you know, and then eat it together with plain rice that's about it and so this brings us to the end of our adventure here at Kimo Road Food Center I hope you enjoyed this adventure this food adventure yes I definitely enjoyed it uh, as per usual like share and subscribe I got Patreon, I also got PayPal, support me on those if possible. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next adventure, my next food adventure or whatever adventure I have. I will see you guys around. Bye bye.